Alain Saint-Ange, I'm the Minister of Tourism and Culture from the Republic of Seychelles. Well, good afternoon and thank you very much for taking the time to speak to Breaking Travel News today. Uh, we're here in London for World Travel Market and I believe this is one of the most exciting growth regions uh, for the destination. For Seychelles, the UK is one of the important markets, important source markets for our tourism industry. One is because the British market knows the Seychelles. We were a British colony until 1976, so one of the last ones to break away from Great Britain. But we've maintained a good rapport, a good relationship with Great Britain, and we absolutely, the people of Seychelles, have no, no bad feelings with Great Britain. We parted off in the right way, and we're part of the Commonwealth, and we have excellent relationships, government to government. We depend a lot on the tourism market of Great Britain, Today it is a market that is showing the biggest progression with 33% increase in visitor arrival numbers over last year. So we are extremely happy. One, because the British people find themselves at home in Seychelles. We drive on the same side of the road. We have a small big band in Victoria. We have the same justice system as Great Britain. So the British people find themselves at home. They like it and they enjoy this permanent summer that Seychelles offers to its visitors. And do you think events like World Travel Markets are important in driving that traffic ever higher? Totally. I think it's being seen, remains, you remain relevant. Mm -hmm. When you are not present, you fast disappear. And I often told my colleague ministers from Africa or from Asia or from even South America, let us keep on being together at these events. We need a focal point for us to be able to be seen at. And if we are all present, the press are there, the two operators are there. When we all scattered and, di and divided, we have to run around the press, we have to run around to operators and travel agents. And then it makes life much, much harder to remain visible. No visibility, you are not relevant. So it is important that we keep on working and working hard at it. We were very lucky to visit the Seychelles early this year. We saw a lot of fantastic beaches and a lot of, uh, a lot of the destination. But there's more to it than that. Perhaps you could tell our viewers just a little bit about what's away from the coastline. Okay, Se Seychelles is, took the decision a couple of years ago. Even though we have the best in a sun, sea and sand holiday, we said you cannot keep selling that because thousands of countries do that. So we put culture at the base of our tourism industry's marketing. When I say culture, we are putting the people of Seychelles in the center of its tourism industry. That helps us to consolidate it and puts it on a firm footing. When you're putting people at the center of tourism, you are putting people at the center of your development. We need to ensure that in Seychelles, them and us doesn't happen. You can't have businesses on one side and people on the other side. We, are, we need to be together, a wholesome approach to the protection and to the development of our tourism industry. So today, culture plays an excellent part and a focus part in our tourism. The destination also hosted the World Travel Awards, I believe, it's a very successful event. How important was that for you? It was very important for the first time to host the Travel Awards in Seychelles. It was important because you brought in the best to be in Seychelles, to receive the reward, but for them to also discover Seychelles. And when I talk about the Travel Awards today, I often say, when they've discovered us, they become ambassadors of Seychelles, because they know that it was a pristine environment there where they were. They like the hotels, they've liked what they've seen, and today they speak about it. And since the Travel Awards, we've had many people who were there as delegates that have come back for holidays themselves. So it was a perfect working together that has taken place with the Travel Awards in Seychelles. And how about looking forward to 2016? Are there any events that are on your agenda or on the horizon you're keen to share with us today? Well, Seychelles keeps on playing the events card because we believe events brings connectivity between people and our visitors. We can be friendly with countries as government to government, but this will not bring the people to people contact. It is true events that we do that. Travel Awards was an event. It brought the business community together. But we also need populist events, like the Carnival or the Festival Creole or the Ocean Festival, where people have a chance to meet. Visitors meet the locals. They develop a bond of partnership. And then this bond is what gives us more repeat business. Because people get to their homes, enjoy the food, enjoy the culture. And we find that once this is done, this, this spirit of friendly terms develops itself into real friends and then we, we keep getting the 
spin-offs from that. Okay. Some interesting points, Minister, and thank you very much for taking the time to speak to Break and Travel News today. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I hope we'll see you in Seychelles again.